Hello, Quest Masters. This is CD Magic 1408 back with another video. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting to make another video so soon, yet here we are. <laughs> so today I have a special treat for you all. But first, a little context. Last month while I was in college, I was having one of those days where I wanted to scout for hidden honor treasures. You know, rare renders of the characters, secret facts about the film, inclusion in Pixar merch. I was especially keen on that last one. So I traveled to the wonderful shopping haven that is Amazon and basically searched quote unquote Pixar. And during my exploration there, I ran into this advent calendar. It's an advent calendar full of short stories from numerous Disney and Pixar properties. And though it's not shown here on this front cover, I discovered with a little extra digging that Onward is included in this set. So anyway, the curious cat in me just couldn't resist, so I got this calendar for the reasonable price of, oh, almost $30. And let me tell you, when it came in the mail, it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I mean, look at it! It can't even fit in the frame of my camera! <laughs> but in the end, it makes sense. I mean, how else would you fit 24 short stories inside? Now, I didn't just open this calendar and search every slot and sleeve until I found the Onward story. I mean, please, that's cheating. However... Because this calendar is so huge, and my mom and I are going out to other side of the country, California, to see my sister for Christmas this year, I was free to check out dates 21 to 24, and wouldn't you know it, it was in the day 22 slot. So what I've got here is an advent calendar edition of Onward's Mighty Mom. Now I know what all you quest masters are thinking. We've seen this story already. And yes, you are absolutely right. This is the very story that was included in the 2022 Disney and Pixar storybook collection that came out all the way back in April. But as they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. Then again, let me just say that in this case, that this cover is amazing. And it's different from the storybook collection version, but this book also happens to have that art on the inside cover. Now, I was going to simply share pics of this front cover with you all on Tumblr at first, but after flipping through this story and remembering the glorious day that was April 24th in the Onward fandom, I had an epiphany. I thought, hey, what the heck? Why don't I just read it to you all instead? I really love reading stuff aloud. In fact, I have the tendency to do it. <laughs> but more importantly, I have a hunch that what's in here will delight you all. And what better way to show you than to read it in storytime fashion? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Disclaimer though, I unfortunately wasn't able to get the Onward VAs to do the voices of their characters for this. <laughs> but to quote the amazing Marley Lightfoot, on a quest, you have to use what you've got. So I hope y'all don't mind me using my own voice for the duration of this story. <laughs> I'm also gonna go ahead and incorporate that fun next page sound that the Onward read along storybook has. So when you hear this sound, It'll be time to turn the page. So gather round, dear Quest Masters, and get cozy. Grab some hot chocolate and put on some snuggly socks, cause it's story time. And so, from the Disney and Pixar movie onward, Mighty Mom. Early one morning, Ian, Barley, and Laurel Lightfoot arrived at Manticore's Tavern. The 
The manticore was having her tavern return to its former glory. Thank goodness you're here, exclaimed the manticore. The reopening is coming up fast, and I need all the help I can get. The Lightfoots didn't waste any time. Ian used magic to summon equipment from a supply closet. Laurel grabbed a sledgehammer and began to tear down a wall. A few spiders crawled out of the hole she had made. Ah! Laurel cried. I hate spiders! Ian laughed. <laughs> Mom, you fought a dragon. Spiders are nothing. As Laurel got back to work, she came across an old nameplate. Shantar's Talon, she read. Where does this go? <laughs> Nowhere. I never actually found the Talon, the manticore laughed. I had always planned to go on a quest to retrieve it, but I got too busy running the tavern. According to legend, Ian said, pulling the quest of your book from his backpack, Shantar's Talon brought endless prosperity. Just then, the ceiling rained down debris. The manticore sighed. <sighs> I could use some of that prosperity right now. We'll find the Talon and display it at the grand reopening, Laurel said. A family quest, cheered Barley and Ian. I love that idea, exclaimed the manticore. The Whispering Elms will know the way. As the group prepared to leave, Laurel realized something. How dangerous will this be? Oh, it'll be easy for you three, said the manticore. Fear not, exclaimed Barley. The Lightfoot Fellowship shall conquer any challenge with sheer wit and strength. The Lightfoots arrived at a grocery store called Journey Mart. A whispering elm was handing out flyers by the front door. Hello, said Laurel. Can you tell us how to find Shantar's Talon? You must reach the center of the labyrinth and face the mighty Minotaur, said the elm excitedly. The Lightfoots looked at one another nervously. My friend Willow will help, said the elm, pointing to another tree in the distance. Willow sent the family to the top of a hill. They were confused by what they saw on the other side. Shantar's talent is in... the mall? said Ian. Oh, of course! exclaimed Barley. The Labyrinth Mall was once an actual labyrinth. Inside the mall, the Lightfoot studied a giant map. The mall had multiple entrances and exits and escalators that went every direction. An hour later, they were no closer to reaching the center. Laurel flagged down a security guard. Barley stared. Aren't you the guardian of the labyrinth? I'm not in that business anymore, kid, the Minotaur said dully. Make a right, then a left, and another right. The Lightfoots followed the guard's instructions but all they found was a children's play area. There's a minotaur in the center, cried Laurel as she pointed to the giant ball pit. That can't be a coincidence. The family jumped into the pit and maneuvered through the chaos. A golden crest on the minotaur's pedestal caught Ian's eye. Laurel pulled the padding away from the pedestal and found a blocked archway. The animate spell should do the trick, said Ian. Presto Avar! The bricks began moving away, leaving an opening in the archway. After the Lightfoots entered, the bricks slammed back into place. They were plunged into total darkness. Flame Infernar, Ian shouted. A bright flame ignited at the top of the staff, illuminating an ancient stone staircase. Barley created a torch and led the way. Looks like the only way out is forward. The group made their way to a massive chamber. Something doesn't feel right to me, Laurel said, coming to a halt. She found a discarded suit of armor on the ground and put it on. Maybe this will come in handy. I'll see if the danger detection spell can help us, said Ian. The top of the staff glowed a deep, ominous red. Suddenly, a giant spider scooped them all up and wove them tighter and tighter into its web. Ian's staff clattered to the floor, out of reach. 
The manticore said this quest would be easy, cried Ian. Why did it have to be a giant spider, added Laurel. Just when all hope seemed to be lost, Barley spotted something in the alcove below them. Shantar's Talon, he exclaimed. It's right over there. Laurel used a sharp edge of the armor to cut them down. Although she managed to escape, the boys were still trapped in the web. She dashed towards an axe across the chamber and picked it up. Laurel faced the creature. If I can defeat a dragon, I can defeat you. She dodged, weaved, and rolled so quickly that the spider became disoriented. With the spider confused, Laurel freed the boys from the web. Way to go, Mom, cheered Barley. Ian grabbed his staff. They needed a diversion to escape. Cumulo Mistaria, Ian cried. The room filled with a thick fog. As the spider struggled to see, Laurel sprinted to the alcove and grabbed the talon. Got it, she shouted. Now let's get out of here. The Lightfoots ran out of the chamber just as the last of the fog cleared. Exhausted and exhilarated, the family arrived back at the tavern. The manticore was thrilled to see them. You did it, she exclaimed. Like I said, piece of cake, right? Laurel, Barley, and Ian looked at each other and smiled. The manticore placed the talon on the wall along with her other relics. I'm finally ready for my grand reopening, she said. She looked around at the construction chaos. Well, almost. I've got to hand it to you, Mom, Barley said. That was pretty cool. We're lucky to have such a fearless and mighty mom, Ian added. Laurel smiled and gave them a big hug. Nothing stands in the way of the Lightfoots. Not even a spider, Ian and Barley cried. <laughs> so there you have it, everybody. Mighty Mom, the Advent Calendar Edition, read aloud. Hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> But yeah, that just about wraps it up, guys. I hope to post scan pics of these pages to my Tumblr for you all to look at and enjoy. But seeing as California, family, and vacation are calling my name, that probably won't come out for another week or two. We'll see. In the meantime, though, I am more than happy to drum up excitement for what's to come. So Questmasters, y'all remember that huge detail scout post I put together pointing out all those fun observations I made from the first time we read the story? Well, be sure to keep a lookout for Mighty Mom Detail Scout 2.0, where I'll specifically talk about even more things I noticed in this story, and in this storybook specifically. That and more will be coming soon to my blog as this year comes to a close and the next one opens its doors. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is CD Magic 1408 wishing you all a fun, safe, happy holiday and a very happy new year. See you guys.